uh, <laughs> it's not very happy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to end this on a total downer because I'm a massive god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my last one, and it's called Limp. Thank you. The unknown source pushed into her bloodstream. She should have turned limp, but she snarled and she bit. And I knew in that snatch of a second that we were the same. The assumptions of people that know only our name, their conclusions, their mental diagrams, pointing out which piece of meat's best for consumption, slavering lips wiped by fat fingers. I'm liking the thighs, but I'm quite tempted by the arse. It's tragic. It's a crashing, song-worthy farce. The fact that we concentrate on our hair, have it flowing past your shoulders or shaving right down, whatever, will all be the lunch of some quick-witted clown. Regardless of gender and preference and creed, they'll pick you out to nourish their hunger for flesh, and you'll satisfy their greed. In absence, the heart lingers in solitary lost afternoons, free of the interference of our species, and their constant, deafening, hideous noise will it ever cease, our bitching, our snitching, our spite, our pent-up bile, our fights, our tongues bitten all through the night, our shouting at the TV while some harpy sings and our cheap engagement rings. I long for the scent of my burning strings, for the casting aside of these tangible things, the cruelty of beauty and the bastardization of the definition of fame. And when it comes, when it fills my bloodstream, when I should turn limp, I'll snarl and I'll bite, and you'll know in that snatch of a second that we are the same. <laughs>